not friends. Hello, my friends. Look, it's Microsoft Paint down here. Oh my god. In case you couldn't tell, that's what all <laughs> this is. Do people still draw on paint? Let's find out right now. So I haven't really drawn on paint since I was about like eight. I don't think I've ever drawn in paint ever. Haven't you? No. In fact, let's insert some of my old artwork from Paint. Oh, have you got some? Yeah. I've seen some people doing this on Twitter recently, and I thought, you know what? I'll share some of my Paint artwork. <laughs> this has all came about because, like, Microsoft said that they were discontinuing Paint, and everyone got really cross and angry. And then Microsoft was like, okay. And now it's not going away, so we thought, what better uh, way to celebrate with so it? So is it not going away? Because everyone on my Twitter timeline is currently still really freaking out I'm pretty about sure this. Microsoft have been like, sorry. And then they were like, oh, we'll, we'll keep it. But maybe if you put like a line down the middle of the canvas. Oh, okay. Is that even? I'll work in the smaller one. It's okay. <laughs> well, there we go. So I will use this pen pencil. Is that a pencil? Oh, you. You use can tell pencil? I haven't used this. Yeah, I can tell. Um, because there's no like layers in it. I don't think. At least there wasn't in the old version. There's a font thing. You could have wrote that in. Uh... Comic Sans, if you wanted to. Really? Look, this has now turned into Adam learning how to use paint for the first time. <laughs> how to use paint life. 101. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is awesome. So I told you you'd need the keyboard. I need my keyboard. He told me paint doesn't need a keyboard. I was like, yes, it does. <laughs> Control Z is like useful for everyone. He's, he's cool. Can I have a tagline? Of course you can, my dear. <laughs> she's all right. She's, well, she's all right, I guess. <laughs> Thank okay, <laughs> so let's get into this, right? I'm having fun watching you learn how to use it. <laughs> Just for the record, right? You said that you wanted to create a masterpiece, not me. So is that your piece for today? <laughs> <laughs> no. Are you getting like acquainted with how it works? That's one way of putting like, it. I need to get in like acquainted with how all the color sliders and stuff work. Ooh. It's been a long time since I've used anything like this. Okay, let's try and draw a character, shall we? Uh, what was the first like software that you remember drawing in online, or like on the computer? You have to remember, I didn't really draw that much, <laughs> like yeah, back in the day. <laughs> drawing program-wise, I guess it would be Photoshop. Yeah, so a bit, I've been spoiled. Like, I'm trying to remember the history of drawing programs I've been through. There's been good old MS Paint, but like not this MS Paint, the really really old one. Mm -hmm. There was a lot less customization tools in it. There was also um, Art Rage. I think that's still like going See, around. I've never heard of any of these. You've never heard of Art Rage? No, no, never. Never, never, never. I got it with like an old tablet that I used to have. Like the software came with it, which is quite sweet. And I had like some free program that you could do like animated GIFs in. Oh. And I used to like draw on top of photographs and stuff and those were terrible that I used to do because the software wasn't really... Was it not cool? Well, it was just like a little free downloadable one. So oh. You got about three frames that you could work with, so you couldn't do anything too smooth. It'd just be like really choppy <laughs> and flashy. I'm feeling that right now. Look, none of the lines fit together, like, at all. <laughs> you know, I bet if you sat down and you just sort of learned how it all works, because I'm kind of learning on the job here. You, I'm sure you could produce something awesome I remember, in paint. Yeah, back when I was like mostly using paint and like there wasn't many videos on YouTube, I once searched like drawings that people had done in MS Paint and oh. some people had done some like incredible things. Yeah, it, you know, it doesn't surprise me. But like they'd done it all with like line tools and like spray cans and stuff because it was like oh, a really yeah. old version. What was like the first online drawing software or whatever that you guys Yeah, used? that you I'm used. I'm curious to know. Enlighten me. Was cause... it Paint? Because I feel like for a lot of people it's Paint. Oh, and Flash. I used to draw in Flash. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like my career to draw in <laughs> Flash for quite a few years. There we go. <laughs> oh, there's a pencil. Oh, it's like really fine. I... The pencil is more like the a pixel art kind of tool. Oh, that's cool. Because like if you zoom in really far, you can do pixel art in... Uh, in pen. Oh. Because I used to do a lot of pixel art back on like DeviantArt and I used to do like icon commissions and stuff. But I used to do that all in Photoshop because Photoshop had layers. Oh, so it's pretty versatile then. I mean, because I've never really sat down and drawn much of anything in this ever. I mean, I knew it existed. I was going to say one day we should do a video where we recreate old paint drawings again in paint. But I don't think you have any, do you? <laughs> no, I could recreate some of Steph's. Let us know if you think that's a good idea. <laughs> what, would you be up for recreating one of mine? One of yours? Yeah, sure. Oh, his head's moving. <laughs> if you guys are curious, because I know you guys asked when we were doing um, Passport 2 videos, the pen tablet thing that we're using and we keep looking down at is a 13 inch Cintiq. Oh, I've got to hit this button to edit colours. Do you have an idea what you're going to draw in this? 
Yeah, I've got like a rough idea. I've just got to learn the software first. Hey, uh, you said you were a pro with this. Oh, you've uh, made your brush bigger too. Yeah, you can pick the size, so I picked mm. the biggest one. I There's thought that was different... for lines. They never used to have all these different brushes when I used to use it, so like... I can remember when I was a kid, obviously, paint was a thing back then, but mm. it was a really basic sort of thing. Yeah, it didn't have like different brushes. No. I tend to sometimes draw in Photoshop all on like one layer, so I think I might be able to... Practice. This goes back to when we were talking about d drawing in lines and shapes, and we're doing like the exact opposite right now. Like you're approaching it with lines and I'm still yeah, approaching it exactly, with Exactly, yeah. We've got a head and some shoulders. The colour you've chosen, the head kind of looks like a baked bean. <laughs> yeah, I purposely went for like quite a sun-kissed kind of look. Yeah. It's summer beans. at the moment, so let's go for a sunshiny looking lady. Oh, it's a lady bean. Lady bean. <laughs> oh, I'm not used to this colour slider. I normally it's like so to, interesting. I usually like to pick colours that feel related to the colours I'm doing, but I'm not used to this colour model. So would you say that this is kind of a challenge? Is using paint a challenge? I don't think it is. Well, anything's a challenge if you haven't done it before. <laughs> <laughs> True. I don't think there's like a black and white layer scale that you can do in this. I do quite like doing that normally. That's advanced. Just to sort of check my levels. So I'm going to probably do a lot of squinting to try and make out what I'm right. doing. If you guys are feeling particularly challenging, maybe you should do something in, uh, try drawing something in paint and tag us in it. Because I would yeah, like to see what you can cool. do. Because I bet you guys can do way better than me. Oh, there's a colour picker! <gasps> oh yeah, there! See, I recognise that. Some of the stuff I recognise from Photoshop. I'm just going to go with standard yellow for this. I normally like colour pick everything. But the colour picking tool is just so complex in this. I'm like, not oh, like you. Little predetermined shape things too, like stars and arrows. I think I might need to lift that top up. It's starting to feel a bit <laughs> It's low. falling down! When you get older, everything kind of sad. <laughs> She's not an old lady. This tends to be how I work, like, digitally. I just go into everything as though it's like a silhouette. Can't do that. Does anyone else work like this? In what, in silhouettes? Jeez, yeah, I mean, I, I just can't do it. Like, some people I know use the lasso tool, but to me, I hate using the lasso tool in Photoshop. It gives me like such unprecise shapes and they go all wiggly and all over the place. I just can't control it. <laughs> Some people can do such good work with the lasso tool though. That's a skill. This is why I find just drawing with like a pen and pencil or whatever in a sketchbook so hard because it's harder to block in shapes. Mm. The webcam's gone really, really bright. Ah! So if we've just changed color, it's because we just mess with the webcam <laughs> settings. We turn into ghosts. Webcam it's happening settings. again. <laughs> Is it? Every time we look down. Yeah. You turn into. A, I can see it. Like I'm looking up here. Every time we look down, you turn into a ghost. You're using all these things. I'm just like, oh, colors. Oh, don't worry. I have no idea how to use this whole color slider thing. Sometimes I feel like it just doesn't want to register the the mark that I'm trying to put in. I wonder if that's our. That might be us. It really struggles with little areas. Oh, try zooming in. Keeps doing that little dot. Oh. That might be something that we've done, guys. Ah. Oh, look, I'm cool. Ah, the zoom feature is strange. <laughs> Just because our webcam's sort of overlapping with it, so there's like a zoom in of mine in case yeah, you can see what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what to, what to make him wear. What do you think we should make him wear? Sweatpants. Sweatpants. Okay. You could just give him shots. <laughs> it might be easier. Is he doing like his sneaky summer look? <laughs> when I wear this outfit, I have to crouch down and pretend oh, to be a ninja. Imagine if like Spider-Man did a lookbook. <laughs> you can't really see much of the t-shirt. It's because it's all crouching down here. We can add a few shirt ruffly bits. <laughs> kind of looks like he's got fat rolls, so I relate Spider-Man. I can't really show it. I thought like, oh, I put a cool logo on it or something, but I can't see anything. You could give him patterned uh, shots. <laughs> Patterned shorts. And a hairstyle might, uh... Oh yeah, we could jazz him up with a hairstyle. Unless right? you want him to be bald. He could be bald. Nothing wrong with that. Maybe we give him like a big mohawk. Whoa, <laughs> it's like a shark fit. It's <laughs> Paul Jackson as a human. It's Paul Jackson! <laughs> <laughs> I finally sold enough cars to become a human. Well, I guess wow, we're sticking with that. Wow, you were just that. rolling with that. <laughs> yeah. Plus it'd be annoying to erase it. So <laughs> you're having shark fin hair. You know what I've just realised that we could do? Mm -hmm. If you use the selection tool and just budge mine along to the left. Oh, okay. 
Well, you can tell that we use paint often. Totally, it's gonna cover up my name. You have to bring my name as well. Oh my, you're cute. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Bart Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Bop, 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 bop. Now people can see what I'm doing. <laughs> now they'll be like, oh yeah, it does look nice. I can actually see it. <laughs> face palm. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> We're learning. <laughs> Work on these. The face. zoom total. Like, I'm so used to it being really fluid in Photoshop. Like, with, with zoom, you can, like, really fine tune and you just yeah. like, slide in and out. But with this, it's sort of like zoom. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> See, I'm so instinctively using the Cintiq to move stuff around. I never use the Cintiq button. What? I just use the keyboard. No! I know, like, one of the best features of Cintiq is meant to be all, like, the shortcuts and stuff on the... Oh, you can have a gash on his head. That's <laughs> <laughs> when I bump my head on a car. Oh! Well! That clearly missed a few hairs when you've been shaving your head. I love how your lines are always so, like, sketchy. <laughs> yeah, this thing's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a mess. It's a very polite way of saying I'm a bit messy, but that's how I am. Hmm. Oh, we get to give him, we can give him, like, a really cool pair of shoes, because his feet are on show. You <laughs> sounded so excited about that. <laughs> shoes! I can do something! Man, that's interesting, because in real life, Adam seems to be really into, like, shoes. I like shoes. And not just any <laughs> shoes, he comes back with really unusual designed ones, <laughs> or coloured ones. Oh my god, shoes. <laughs> if anyone remembers that, wow, you get you get some kind of award. Yeah, that is, like, one of the first, like, YouTube <laughs> references that I can think of. The razor time, the razor time. Uh, so you get in the hang of uh, tools that you like using now. <laughs> the eraser is my friend. I know quite a lot of the people that follow us don't have like Photoshop and stuff, so I thought if we try to do something somewhat decent in paint, it'd be fun if you <laughs> guys could join in with us. And if we think this video is a fail, you will never see it. <laughs> Although a lot of people are on like mobile phones and tablets these days. So oh, but tablets are really amazing for yeah, it. Yeah, on tablets. Is that um, program called... I think it's Procreate. Procreate. Yeah, mm. that one's meant to be really good. Some of the stuff that people make on Procreate is incredible. And he's going to need like a, a thinner line. Those converse boots? That's what I'm going for, yeah. Ah. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, you haven't laced up your boots properly. No, sorry, I'm part fish. Oh, he's turning into kind of like a biker that you'd see in Pokemon. He just appears on the ground. It's like, dirty biker man wants to battle. Wow, those, <laughs> those are so... I thought I had hairy legs. These are some long leg hairs. <laughs> yeah. Um, still not sure what to do with this t-shirt, so I'm going to hand this back to you and I'm going to try and think of something I could do hey. with this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I need a minute to sort out those hideous feet. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yours is way, way prettier than mine. Oh, definitely run out for space for the feet on this. I've seen you color in this from the beginning, and I'm looking at mine and I'm like, how am I gonna color this? You don't have to color it. I like yours in the. Uh, oh thank black God. And white. <laughs> I'm gonna insert a really epic montage of Adam cleaning up his final piece. Epic montage. <laughs> you will get an epic montage and you will like it. It's funny how I'm having like a break from you drawing and watching someone else draw. You come back to your own and you're like, ah, so many weird mistakes are in this. What was I doing? <laughs> oh, I see you've adjusted those. Yeah, they were going in the wrong direction. <laughs> you belong to me! Where are you going? The problem with being an artist is that you could work into something forever and you'd never be fully happy yeah, with it. you got to learn when to call it done. Is this like the doodle like that never ends? Probably. That's the thing with digital art. I get too hung up Give me that. on tweaking everything because it's so easy to tweak everything. Whereas traditionally, when you put something in kind of wrong and you know the consequences are you have to draw it entirely again, <laughs> yeah. or if it's in pencil to entirely erase the thing and start again, it's just so much more work. So you just roll with your mistakes. Yeah, happy little accidents. Yeah, and I really enjoy that, but oh gosh, digitally can really do my head in sometimes. <laughs> it's giving them a few little accent things because that hair was really distracting. I like to think his mother bought him these boots. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, son. Ooh, maybe some... Maybe some fingernails. Just like that. Beautiful. I'm all ready for the Black Parade. Yay! Ah. I think you zoomed out a bit too much. <laughs> Come back! 
So here's the finished things, guys. How do you think we did? We'll also plug in a playlist right up here. A mystery video just for you. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell, because it's all good. Doodle dirt. Doodle dirt. Bye, guys. Bye.